What is Scott? You gorgeous ladies walking in, be careful. <laughs> we have your magic right now. Let's just find our favorite seat. How are you this morning, Gary? Good. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I wake up. It's okay. I don't want to sit in the front. Okay. No, nope. dental school, never the front row. I don't even do that at church. Yeah, wait, man. I'm Catholic. We sit in the back. I, yeah, I'm not oh, no. <laughs> well, well, oh, it's a cool matter. Did, did, did you drive with Tesla or? We did. It was tweeting all the way over here. It was tweeting what? Because it was. <laughs> why was it tweeting? Okay, so it makes it bird sound. Yeah. It makes it there's something wrong with the car. And um, he says, make it on bird sound when it's going on. We're in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the we are in I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it. Okay. There's something left. Now, my new stock is a pod. You know, the Yeah, I don't know. 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 And I tried to say your personal email from non email president. I, uh, yeah, Hey, Gary. We'll start. 
Okay. I'm starting the meeting. Thanks everybody for being here. And we have a sergeant of arms. Not quite, but <laughs> um, let's start with the pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the United States of America and the Republic of the United all right, now the four way test of the things we think, say, or do. All right. First, is it true? Second, is it true? Third, is it true? Fourth, will it be beneficial to all concerned? Fifth, fun. Six, seven, eight, bacon, bacon bar, it's good. All right, Mr. President. Thank you. So, uh, we have too many guests out there. No, no, yes. We have a couple of guests here. I think we have Terry and Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, yeah. And this belongs to Lauren. Right. <laughs> and then Lori, <laughs> her sister. So, thanks for being here today. How's California weather? Yeah. It's snowing. Snowing? Well, you're lucky it's frosty up here. So anyhow, all right. And uh, I looked through all the birthdays and spouse anniversaries and rotary anniversaries. I didn't see any this week. Is there anybody I may have missed? All right. And any any announcements? Sure. Okay. Of course I do. Did, and does anyone have their phone with them by chance? Yeah. No, no, no. Um, if you guys go to your jump box and look for an email from Green, you guys know what I'm talking about? Green Velope. Green Velope.com. Um, that's a, your special invitation to the Creator Zone event, March 10th. Green so it sounds like a lot of them went to jump. Right. Um, and if you don't find it there and want a paper copy, let me know because we're getting really excited to be able to open the creator zone. So we're gonna have a big event on March 10th. And you guys really want this audience. Yeah. Awesome. So awesome. Kidding. That's great. I saw Interact Club got uh they're all going. Yeah. I think, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. A couple of us have been over there and looked the place over. They're painting, refurbishing, and the speaker system is phenomenal. And they got a great big room there. Some rooms upstairs for different things like 3D printing or how to put on your goggles. Yeah. Something like that. So that'll be kind of cool. It's going to be really good. And I know the robotics, it's a high, high school is uh, looking for a place to go and, you know, because there's not enough time in school. So they want to go there and hang out and do stuff. So that'll be really cool. You get set up and running. Yeah, the list goes on and on. The services and assets. Of the yeah, business. and the and the club is very supportive of that. And we'll probably send a donation off to them on the tenth or whatever present it then, kind Great. of thing. So that's cool. We also have another thing that's pretty exciting. Whenever something happens for the community, I'm all in. I think the club's all in. So we've got Cedar House, Cedar Wood. Cedar Wood Clubhouse. Wood is kind of like gangster, kind of like gangster. Wood. Yeah. Wood, wood, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Woods. <clears throat> so we're all in support of that. So I'm going to send a letter off to the city there saying we're in support of that. And anything for the community is always good. Um, plus, I did, you know, AARP, we've heard of AARP, some of us. Maybe, I don't know. You've got to be old to hear about that. But I got an email from them that they are looking for able to write a grant for a different public thing. So maybe we can kind of look into that, get a team to look into that, maybe do a grant of some sort for the community out here. So more money coming in would be great. I haven't really looked it over that well yet, but I think that'll be awesome. <clears throat> we can maybe put that towards, you know, cedar wood yeah. or whatever. So that'd be kind of cool. Or anything else. <clears throat> and so with that, we'll kind of move into uh, the treasurer's report. Jack. Well, He's not saying much. <laughs> all <of our> money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's somewhere where we don't know. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> 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 oh, as far as you get. <clears throat> so, and I think one last thing about that is dues. Uh, if you haven't turned your dues in, let's kind of get on that. Uh, secretary's report. 
Uh, just the board meeting is uh, Tuesday, March 21st. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and then, uh, of course, we have Don President elect, but he's going to zoom in here a little bit later. There he is, waving. It's kind of like the shadow. Was that a movie or a radio show or something? The shadow. The shadow. The shadow. <clears throat> It's uh, a little bit bright out today, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you come on towards after Happy Bucks if we have a happy day all this time? <clears throat> so great. Thanks, Don. And then we have uh, Ron with Club Services. Yep. Uh, had a great meeting on Tuesday night after the board meeting uh, down at the, the second clubhouse. Um, and uh, <laughs> brainstorm some great ideas for fireside so uh, look for more to come on that uh, kind of the even to be determined plan is to try to have one every couple months um and then we're going to have also a continuous uh tuesday night uh first tuesday of the month we'll, we can just anybody that wants to go down to the brewery meet up that's cool that's awesome just socialize and chit chat but yeah uh the list will come out here pretty soon. Uh, Kyle's gonna and help support with Kyle and do some uh, kind of uh, survey type thing that uh, everybody can look at it, and yeah. some, and see if they have any other ideas. Cool, that's gonna be great. We'll kind of get that back going again. That'll be fun. Lots of activities and stuff of that sort. <clears throat> Thanks, Ron. And then uh, Jim's not here for foundation, but yeah, yeah, I'm here. Oh, hey, good. Hi, I'm hiding right here. Yeah, is there anything on foundation? Uh, Gary, uh, Gary, Jack, and I met uh, for a couple of hours to go over some of the uh, books and all that kind of stuff. And I'm working with Rotary uh, RI Foundation on the Paul Harris Fellowships and trying to get that flowing better. So uh, just encourage everybody to please consider your $50 per six month uh, when you pay your dues um, so we can do the $100 for each member. Uh, per year and um, more info to follow. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Jim. All right. I don't see Linda here for international services unless she's on the. No. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have membership for, with Kyle. Uh, yeah. So um, we have actually, we have a new member that we actually approved at the board meeting this past Tuesday, uh, Maureen uh, Gano Smith. Who is uh, going? To, uh, Chris is actually going to be her uh, mentor, but she uh, comes to us uh, with uh, looks like she has quite a bit of an education background, helping out with the community. Her big uh, push is she wants to help you know we'll do projects around like our water water release and the lakes, the streams, and all that kind of stuff. But then also scouts. That's kind of a passion that she has. And then we finally uh, we do actually have Randall Southern. Um, he fill an application. Doesn't have to because he's a transferring member from all the retirees, but Looking at his uh, stuff, he's actually been a retired for 10 years, uh, has done a lot with um, Rotary International, and he's done a lot with uh, Rotary District 5030 in regards to putting on media events and event merchant or event organizing and digital in a digital aspect. He did sell a company to Microsoft, so it sounds like we have quite a few new members that just keep coming that sell their business to Microsoft or <laughs> Meta, so it's pretty cool. Um, but he also was a uh, head. He's actually had rotary exchange students. He's had different ones uh, for a year at a time. And that's still his passion. So he's still like in that work as well. So it's good to know. But uh, he is today, he's actually officially putting in a recommendation with all the terrorists. And then he will um, be in person on the first uh, uh, the first meeting in April. So he will be here. And then we'll kind of get classification going from there. Uh, so that's exciting to hear that we're getting new members yes. continuing to join. And then lastly, uh, we did uh, go uh, look at that. We do have the results from the survey, but we only had um, 15 people so far submit uh, the survey uh, so we can review it out of 45 people total. We did not get it. I'm going to resend it out again. Cool. I'm probably just going to resend it from my email because I wonder if some of the, some of the club writer emails are going to spam depending if you're using Google specifically. Uh, but I'll resend it out. But my goal is by next Sunday, we could have it completed so we can get uh, some sort of a presentation of what that looks like, what the club wants, and then that'll help John as we can do the reader. So that's all I have. Awesome. <clears throat> nice. Thanks, Kyle. You're wonderful. And let's see, moving on. Oh, one thing I just heard that um, Randall is involved with the you know, student exchange thing. I think he was a host family 
Yeah, and exactly. That right. might help us out a little bit in some things. So I know there is a, you know, Ukraine's bringing students in too. So there might be something to do with some Ukrainian kind of activity, but in the sad for them because of the war and all like that, but what are we going to do? <clears throat> so uh, vocational, we have Kristen's not here, but that seems to be going good. I think Gary is going to go do a pizza jig. What am I going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> March the 8th, they're going to have their uh, Irish week. Uh, unfortunately, the chief won't be there. I'm not going to go dance the jig. Uh, <laughs> I watched him and you can get real tired tired watching uh, the chief do the Irish chief. And he actually got a bunch of students up there doing it last year. Oh, cool. Yeah. We're probably going to end up buying. Uh, you know, we started out with three pizzas. Uh, I think we're going to end up with about buying five giant pizzas because by the time I walk in the door, they're ready. And especially the guys. And the guys are not, uh, they just go grab one or two and keep coming back. So she's had a phenomenal turnout. Of, last time I talked to her last week, she had over, still doing over 40 students every Wednesday. Uh, and she hasn't told me the numbers of hours that they uh, have done service projects, but she told me it'll probably outdo the last couple of years that she's been doing them. And I mean, as I recall, they're somewhere around 1,300 hours that they've put. So this is incredible. She, she has done a phenomenal job with those kids. And uh, we really need to continue to recognize her contribution because uh, they're passionate about what they do. Sure, they want to get their service hours, but she has them doing what, what we need to handle. Yeah, and she's doing a great job. <clears throat> so if anybody wants to come and do the Irish trick, yeah. I'd be happy to. Okay. I'm kind of Irish. <laughs> Uh, in a southern, in a southern Irish kind of way, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what, what, what is that? Uh, when, uh, Wednesday, March eighth, uh, three o'clock. Probably do that. Yeah. I don't have my phone. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd love to be here. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, and <clears throat> excuse me, and we have scholarships. Lance, you have any? Sure, so just a quick update. Uh, Brian, Gary, and I met uh, this week and updated the application forms for this year. Um, Gary has asked for uh, scholarships at Lake Stevens Rotary email address. So one of the last things I need to do is the form, the application form has got a submit button on the bottom of it. And I got to make sure that I get that changed over to the new email address. Okay. Um, and that we'll be ready to go. We finalize the timeline. So there'll be opportunities for members of the club, even if you don't want to be a part of the vocational committee. Uh, we'll put out a open call for judges, anybody who wants to review applications and score uh, the applicants. So watch for that. Awesome. And I think we made a financial commitment. You want to talk about that? Yeah, go ahead. No, talk about it, Mr. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, at the board meeting, Lance was there, and in the past, we've given around $22,000 in, in the past, and it's awesome money for students. And, of course, we had the COVID thing rolling around, and pre-COVID, we had, I don't know, 25, 28 applicants, and out of that, we've given some money to, and, of course, the amount of money was a little bit lower because there was more applicants. And the applicants are amazing. I mean, I, I can't even imagine, you know, when I went to high school, the people even existed that were that scholar, had that kind of scholar abilities or whatever that word is. Ken, what is that word? <laughs> that were college career. Yeah. Future focused. Yes. That's what you meant. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, that was a sentence. <laughs> <clears throat> but they are really sharp and amazing. And there's the tech people that go, you know, that's another whole entity that I don't know was around when I went to school, but it is phenomenal. And so during COVID, it was tough to get some applicants in there, but we got some in there, but not as many, maybe nine, 10, something like that. So we had a little more money to kind of give to those students that deserved it through the matrix system. 
you know, <clears throat> the matrix system is the key element there. And so um, Lance came to the meeting and talked, and we were trying to bump up the number of dollars instead of 22 to maybe, you know, 28 or 30 or 30,000, uh, depending on that number of applicants that come in and, and things of that sort. Plus, there's Lauren Hole donated some a bunch of money for the Lauren Hole kind of uh, scholarship, and then Sam Lowe donated some money, a, a nice amount of money for the same kind of thing in in, in that name, and um, and then Lance also donated some money. Uh, so those are kind of stacked on top of this. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to review that when we get closer on the number of applicants that came in and the, the number that are going to deserve money. And then we'll kind of decide at that point, I think if I'm correct, that we may bump that up. So, you know, that's kind of where we're at. So I hope we're all in agreement with that. And yes, sir. Let me, uh, when uh, Lance referred to the fact that there's going to be a, a scholarship at lakestevensrotary.org, uh, email that's going to we're including that for the president secretary treasurer membership and scholarships and that will be on once we get that all set up we're still working on that with chris both chris's martin and smith trying to get that resolved go daddy is we're getting there uh, once that is all put in place on our website there will be the list of if, if somebody is interested in membership, they can just go to membership at Lake Stevens Rotary and it'll go to Kyle. And so that's the reason why when uh, Lance came and we were talking about it, we decided to do the same thing for scholarships. Yeah. Any questions about that? Just last minute pitch. Yeah. If you too want to donate to the scholarship fund, you can do that. Yes. <laughs> Just let us know. <clears throat> no amount is too large. <laughs> and we also um, have our sponsors that were so generous this year that donated on the pretense that they would have a scholarship in their name given to a student. So we're dissecting through who those people are. You use the word pretense? Yeah, what I mean. <laughs> hey, Chris, when we're talking about students, uh, I would like to uh, congratulate him. Uh, this week, I had the really cool opportunity to have um, the CTE career, what's the technical? Career, technical ed. career technical ed director for the school district um, tour me all of the Give me a tour of all the uh, CTE classes and meet the instructors. Um, so I, I didn't know we had all this stuff going on inside the school district. There's a lot of stuff. And these kids are super smart. Super smart. Like the stuff they learn in eighth grade, like I was more worried about like hunting pheasants. These guys, <laughs> these guys are like learning, getting certifications in office and like yeah, it's crazy it's stuff. That's cool. So I was just really impressed. Got to watch the robots <laughs> fight each other. And, um, they told each other. No, the robots were fighting. They were doing a competition. <laughs> <laughs> no, they violence ones. There's violence <laughs> robots. They never. <laughs> With parts all over the floor. <laughs> but, but, but what a great program. Uh, you could tell that the kids that were um, in those classes were engaged in learning and, and realizing uh, a great uh, possible career path. So, yeah. Uh, congratulations, Ken. Yeah. Program. Thanks. Well, it's great to uh, have the mayor tour and, and see all of our programs. And yeah, I mean, we have some we have some amazing things going on. And as I was telling the mayor, it's, it's tough, uh, you know, to react to what are the high wage, high demand jobs mm -hmm. that we need to prepare our students for. And uh, our new CTE director uh, is doing a really great job. And that his name's Dan Tidor. He's coming. I think he's come here. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's a nice guy. Before. And yeah. He and I went to the same high school, um, Cashmere High School. So that's you know, even better. You know, <laughs> and uh, so um, it's... Uh, it's, uh, it's going really well. Um, cool. There's some things that we've got our eye on that we need to prepare our students to do, you know, where there are uh, real high demand uh, and high wage positions out there in the Good. world today. But yeah, we have amazing, I mean, we have kids that are like 
first in the world yeah. in in Microsoft Office. Yeah. That's cool. Haley, Haley Tang from from uh, the high school. She is, I mean, I'm like, wow, the things that she can do is un, it's unbelievable. And we have we have our robotics team going to the world championships. Wow. Two team, two teams. Wow. It's probably the third, the best third space learning program I've ever seen. Um, in cool. terms of, it's not a classroom. Yeah. It's uh, for teachers who donate their time after wow. school to help these kids, and then they bring in um, engineers from the Different field companies. to help students That's engineer cool. robots and uh, and and really accomplish a purpose. It's really fascinating. Cool. And then and and just fantastic. And then. Uh, um, yeah, and they're going to the world championships. Our DECA students are going to uh, nationals in Orlando, Florida. That's cool. And then we have an, uh, uh, the, our Microsoft Office students from the high school and from Kepler all to in Orlando uh, mm -hmm. for national competition. So they're they're getting out. Where's the robotic place going to be? Uh, it is in uh, Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Oh, okay. Dallas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that was the impressive part. Like, I don't know how many times I heard, "Oh, yeah, this group's going to." The national and like over and over it was we are creating quality kids who are competing at national levels <laughs> the robotics competition is march 11th at cavalera yeah oh, cool yeah we, we are seen as a state leader in robotics um it's cool wow. actually a national leader it, it's the future really i mean we just saw the guy yes last time with the lawnmower robotic lawnmower mows your yeah. lawn and you save on labor and gas it's all electric it's incredible you wouldn't believe it but it says it most grass like i have which it's hard to believe <laughs> because my lawn's kind of need some attention but anyhow the other thing is that the sports at this school is phenomenal i mean everybody's going to some championship state tournament or whatever it's amazing like track. yeah Thanks. so Thanks. track is so good <laughs> we did go to state championships last year track starts March first i think yeah, track starts here Monday. Doesn't it feel like track weather out there? Yeah. <laughs> Put your shorts on. Yeah. Well, I, I called Jason. I said, you came home with a track state championship last spring. You came home with a football state championship in the fall. What happened in winter? A winning we season. Win a state championship. We had a winning season in basketball. Well, we had we had all kinds of winning seasons, but you know the bar's pretty high now. <laughs> yeah, the bar's pretty low. <laughs> That's great. Of course, we also have like the third largest high school in the state. <laughs> all the things that you do in your leadership is, is what kind of reflects everything out there, and the people you hire have great leadership skills. So that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's Thank cool. You. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go on here. That whole thing home, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got money. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know. Is Kendra on there? Oh, um, we can back up a little Linda bit. Linda is. Yeah, Linda, do you have anything for RI? Uh, good morning. I don't. We had our meeting canceled this. Uh, this month, uh, because everybody was gone, and so all is good. Okay, good, awesome. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Thank you for that. And then Chris Martin, IT. Uh, Gary kind of, you know, talked about already. We're trying to get the email working. That yeah, created, but not working yet. So. Okay, okay, sounds good. Thanks. This is kind of a big project with yeah. a lot of moving parts. And I went out there to go to the Google site and tried to log in and could, and then I could, and then it's asking you a thousand different questions. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And I'm like, I don't know what either one does. So still you have a couple of those kids on. on yeah, the right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, things are getting complex, but yeah. So anything on uh, communications, Gary? No. Okay. And then uh, Tracy Delorme, anything just passing by? Okay, good. And then we have uh, Sergeant of Arms. I guess we'll have a raffle, but we didn't sell any raffle tickets. Okay. Well, we'll do half of them. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, I'll do uh, a couple of trivia. I think there will be a question. Little Zolby finds next week. What is your mother's name? Since it's uh, the theme to the President's Day this week, we'll have a couple of uh, presidents. And I hope I, you guys didn't hear this one yet because I, I, I can't remember where I heard it, but it was Rotary. I apologize. But uh, so who was the first president to get pulled over for speeding? Oh, wow, that had to be one of his cars. Probably the Roosevelt, JFK. You're probably in the right thinking pattern. Jimmy Carter. It wasn't in a car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was a uh, Ulysses S. Grant. Yeah. Wow. In the 1870s, he got pulled over and warned for speeding in his horse drawn buggy. Yeah. He repeated it the next day and got arrested for it. Oh. So. Um, Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so <laughs> they had radar back then. It, it wasn't quite as. Uh... <laughs> See, there, there's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were the So, uh, so no one gets out of fine next week on that one. Okay, so this week was uh, President's Day. What was President's Day called before it was called President's Day? George Washington. Yeah. Close. Washington's birthday. Washington's birthday, right there. You don't have fines next week. Not that you, you might not be. Will be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's happy tonight. Okay. Yeah. Happy Friday, and I'm excited for truck. Hey, Don, you're Happy Can you hear me? Happy Friday, Yeah, uh, it's been an interesting week. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, it's not raining. And he's sitting here in his shorts. Came straight from the gym. Nice. How was it? Did you love it? Love it. With your new shoes? I love my clip shoes. Good. You're going to be so sore tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I put this like this. Good to be here today. Uh, I appreciate Lance, the mayor, uh, Jim Steinrock, Kevin coming down and visiting. I do have a town hall here on March 11th at the uh, mill. So with uh, Senator Wagner and Represent best way from 10 a.m. to 11 30. That's my commercial. And I'm the DJ. Oh, we're going to see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm happy that her, her friend, her business day. And her in management, she has so much energy. She's been cooking a storm out of the pile. I don't know. She's preparing food for me that there's enough to last probably until at least September. <laughs> oh, that'd be wonderful to look at. Okay. Hey, maybe if I could change my happiness, then I don't have to get on an airplane again in this chair. I'm happy to be landed okay <laughs> during the storm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy that the lake is partially frozen. I'm so excited to get in. I don't know. I'm just going to bust through it. Um, I'm also super thankful for my husband. He's been extremely supportive as I um, do all of the things I love doing. Um, I'm having a beautiful day this morning. See, uh, yeah. I have a happy dollar that it is Friday, and I have a dollar that I need some more training in HR because. I know how to be a dentist, but I don't know how to handle staff. Just don't hire each other. I mean, do whatever you want. Yeah, no. I'm a person. I think it's a smart group to be in. If you get involved, then you can't do it. I am very happy that I avoided COVID. My um, daughter and her husband came in. They were here a day and then they uh, they went to see their son and then they called and said he had COVID. So the last five days I've been quarantined, but I'm, I 
I've uh, not question. ever tested positive. Yeah, I have it for you. Yeah, that's great. I am really thankful for that. Yes. And also, I wanted, if you have not read the the uh, magazine that just came, I came yesterday, and it's got a really good article in there from the International Center, and also something on the I I usually get that magazine, and I go through it real fast, and I'll read it very much, but it's really interesting. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Well, okay, so first I'm two dollars happy because I didn't have to buy raffle tickets today. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm happy that um Carrie's here, happy Dennis is here, and tonight my mother-in-law moved into her new tiny home, the trailer. So <laughs> you got really all two of us. <laughs> I've got a happy 20. Part of it isn't fine. Because yeah. uh, you find me. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I, I accept that. And then um, also just a lot of things going on that are that are really happy. I did go to Scottsdale and got away. I went to Scottsdale last weekend and played a little golf. And and uh, I could stand here and tell you about my hole in one, but I won't. Wow. Uh, uh, no. Bears for everybody. It happens. 164 yards with a, oh. with a seven iron and uh, at Ocotillo. So, uh, uh, we drove by. Too, but I, didn't, I didn't want to spend $500 a year. Yes. Huh? What, how did you celebrate? It was the thing. Well, the funny thing is, I didn't even know it went in. So we got up there and I thought, where's my ball? Because uh, uh, I, I overcooked it. I thought I overcooked it a little bit. And I, we walked up there, and, and um, it was kind of uh, over some stuff, and and uh, between two mounds, and then there was a mound in back, and I thought I hit it over the top, over the green oh, and into the back mound. So I walked up there, couldn't find my ball anywhere, and uh, and so I said, "Hey, did anybody see my ball?" So we walked around, and I was about ready to drop one and, and take my penalty yeah. stroke. So, so dramatic. And they were not. <laughs> And then, and then I walked I said, you guys should check the whole wall. There it was. Uh, I think a squirrel did it. A squirrel did it. And then I jumped into the pool. No, I can't. Never doubt yourself. You can go straight to the I. Well, and nobody else in here, well, of course, the wind was playing. Nobody else in this. <laughs> they still couldn't believe it. Huh? I still couldn't believe it. That's awesome. I think my brother still doubts me. Congratulations. <laughs> he was with me. Happy to be here. Not going to follow Ken. <laughs> uh, I get a happy pen on Denmo. Um, the only thing that I'd like to share is if you saw Duke when we showed it here, or if you did not get to see Duke, uh, we're doing a screening with Drew Miller and Tiago, the director, at the Historic Everett Theater on March 1st, next Wednesday. Oh, cool. Um, and we're hoping to uh, get a good crowd there. Yeah. What's yeah. funny? How do you get tickets? Or can you just show up? Um, there is a registration link. If you look at Sherwood's uh, Facebook page, uh, but you can just show up to it. That's great. Yeah. Free. We show share it on Facebook so we can share it. I put it on Lake Students Community page this morning. Okay. Um, but uh, we've sent it out probably five, six times for sure. I'll try and put it on our, I'll grab your stuff and put it on our website. Cool. Thanks. I, I got a Tesla doll. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it's early. It's early. <laughs> okay, I just checked my phone a little bit ago and I find that it has cost me $10 to operate this car for the month to date. Oh, and it has saved me $33 in gasoline that I didn't have to buy. Oh, I'm surprised that is. Do you want to give your report? <laughs> so I spent $107 the last month and I saved 217 in gas. I spent $300 in gas. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, happy. It's Friday. Um, we're going to Florida tomorrow. Uh, we're going to our agency is going in front of the Center for Public oh, yeah. Safety and Excellence, our accreditation on Tuesday. So awesome. hopefully we'll be an accredited agency, seven of one of seven in the state of Washington. So oh, cool. That's awesome. Congratulations.
couple of bucks here. I'm happy that everybody's here and we got a lot of things the club's doing and stuff like that. So weather's looking good. Let's get out and enjoy that. So anyhow, and then I have Brian Lewis over here. Did you talk about anything? Oh, no. Okay, go ahead. Um, so by popular demand, we decided to call off the cleanup tomorrow because of the freezing temperatures. And as a native Texan, I'm not going to be out there. I know <laughs> if it's 21 degrees. So I figured nobody else would either. So we are not going to do the cleanup next Saturday or this Saturday. We'll do it the following Saturday. Hopefully, we'll also have the, the uh, sign ups figured out why we can't sign up. March 3rd, I think. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. Yep. Awesome. It. Thanks. Yeah, no I didn't forget you. Don, you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. I got a, a happy 10 Venmo for uh, enjoying very much a great pets event last weekend. Oh. I'll tell you a little more about it. <laughs> and then, yeah, he's going to yeah. be our speaker. Jim. Uh, how about Linda? I am uh, just happy to be here. Nice to see you all. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Likewise. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Thanks. Give us to Gary. Yeah. Thanks, Ron, for yeah. serving in the bar. And with that, we have uh, our president elect, Don Iverson, who went to Pets and it was in person for the first time in a number of years. And he's got a couple of things he would like to talk about and present and Don can you hear me I can hear you okay take her I, away I, I do need somebody to go to the share screen uh little icon in the middle of your computer and enable others to share what is that <laughs> How about that, John? That works. Good going. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Never doubt. All righty. Let me uh, just queue up here. I can see it. We can see it. Yeah. I'll go right back to the very beginning and make it a presentation. All right. So am I coming through OK? Yes. Yeah. All right. right. Well, uh, as I mentioned, uh, had a very good time at Pets last weekend, uh, and I was thinking that I, you know, how little I knew about pets. Uh, and as most of you know, uh, we didn't have a live uh, pets event for the two years of COVID. So I, you know, I think Chris, you didn't, uh, you did an online version, right? And I, I. You know, I think Rashal did too. I'm assuming that's the case. I think so, yeah. And then did, did you do it I was the last person to attend. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So, um, uh, since we have uh, one of us uh, needing to attend every year, I just thought it would make sense to kind of let everybody kind of know what it's, what it's all about. Um, and I did take a few photos and uh, certainly talked with a lot of people. Uh, but bottom line, I was very surprised at how enjoyable the whole event was. So uh, the, the event happened at SeaTac at the Doubletree. And uh, uh, it actually is the biggest pets in Rotary. And the reason for that is it's uh, a, in a combined event, basically, where we have uh, districts from all over Washington, Oregon, Idaho, uh, Alaska and BC, and even uh, a couple districts from Northern California, all kind of have agreed to, agreed to pool their resources and uh, create just one big event so that they can get some economy to scale. And uh, we had uh, uh, 679 people attending, most of which were president elects. So we had a, a very good representation from probably just about every club in, in the region. Uh, the, the event was um, broken up um, to uh, plenary sessions, which is what you're seeing in the photo. 
uh, where we had all of our main speakers. And then we had a, a series of breakout work sessions in classrooms with a lot of, um, uh, yeah, we'll say, uh, uh, open dialogue on, on various topics. But um, they were also very, you know, very beneficial. So one of the things that was interesting is how little everybody actually knew about you know, where the districts were. And, and we actually couldn't even find a map <laughs> of it until, so I went back and I Googled it and I finally found a map that basically shows where all these districts are. But these are the districts that attended. And um, what's, what's very interesting is if you look up at the uh, upper part of the map, uh, British Columbia and Washington State, you'll see that almost all of the districts that touch the Canadian border go past the Canadian border and into Canada. And um, it's, it's kind of fun. It's a little less efficient because people have to go back and forth across the border to participate in their district events. But um, uh, there's no question Rotary attempts to make this as international as they possibly can. And you'll see our district 50-50 and uh, we just go a little bit into Canada, but we have an awful lot of people in those uh, Canadian uh, clubs that participate in our district. Um, and I was really surprised to see District 5020, which includes Tacoma and goes uh, south into Washington, also includes all of Vancouver Island. Uh, we did have all of our district uh, chair elects, if you will, our, our, our district governor elects there, including our our gov, David Lukov, who's on the kind of the one of the lower ones on the left. Um, so it was quite a quite an event. The um, the primary focus of the plenary plenary sessions uh, really seemed to evolve around evolving rotary. Uh, to A, be a little bit more family friendly and working person friendly. And th this topic came up a lot. And so uh, those of you who, who struggle with uh, too many things to do and uh, not enough time to do them, uh, Rotary's got your back. Uh, there's a lot of discussion how to, how to make events uh, uh, and expectations, if you will, more um, supportive, particularly of working families. Uh, there was several sessions, including the one you're seeing here, that were, were very interesting, uh, it, very interesting people. Uh, but um, essentially, it, uh, it really did revolve all around uh, loosening up some of the requirements or ex expectations, I should say, for, for clubs to have meetings and emphasize more on social events and uh, good old fashioned work parties and various times of, of the day and various days of the week, that type of thing. Another major topic uh, is peace. Uh, Rotary has a peace initiative and um, we had some very interesting people talking about this and quite quite a range of people. Lorelei Higgins, uh, she was a kick. She's Mrs. Canada and will probably be going after Mrs. Uh, Globe next year, but she is the uh, Rotary Peace Scholar. And she uh, travels all around the world right now and, and focuses primarily on, on uh, you know, developing uh, uh, clubs and areas on, on conflicts, conflict transformation, you know, indigenous matters and, and peace in general. We also had a retired major general uh, who uh, had some very interesting stories about his, his career in Iraq uh, and, and ways that um, they, they try to basically avoid confrontations as they moved into uh, small cities, you know, and confrontations that they could win, but they they 
found some very creative ways through respecting the culture and the religion uh, that basically were able to diffuse situations so they were able to accomplish what they needed to, to accomplish without firing a shot. Very motivating, very good stuff. Of course, we had our incoming president for Rotary International, Gordon Mc, McKinley. Uh, he was a very interesting chap. Uh, Gary, um, you know, he's from Scotland. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, <laughs> close. Uh, okay, well, yeah, as long as we can, yeah, as long as you can tolerate him, I think he'll be a good guy. <laughs> then uh, John, Hugo <laughs> is an interesting guy too. He um, he's an attorney and he's been very engaged uh, through uh, uh, his his work, if you will, in Russia, Ukraine, and actually in the uh, whole process of of breaking up the Soviet Union. He was very active in Ukraine and 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 some of the satellite countries at that time. Um, and he is one of the one of the major pushers right now in Rotary for for helping Ukraine. And he gave us a, a, an interesting report um, that uh, there are still fifty active clubs in Ukraine, and uh, they're the fastest growing country uh, as far as members in Rotary right now. And that's a good thing because uh, Rotary clubs and the, and the Rotary International folks have been sending a lot of money that way. Uh, you know, it's hard to really track what every club does, but Rotary International has sent about 15 million. And it's estimated that about 20 more million probably has come from individual clubs all over the world. And you can imagine if, if we were there, uh, and we were getting, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to help help our community. How how beneficial that could be, and and who who would be better at knowing what is needed around here than the Rotary Club? So that was very very encouraging, um, but it was also very sobering. Yeah, it's a lot of the things he had to say. Uh, district 5050, our district, uh, we uh, had a large uh, celebration on the very first day on Friday, or not celebration, but get together, if you will, lasted all afternoon. And it was a chance for David uh, to speak as our incoming governor and talk about his plans. And then um, the follow on of that uh, was our first evening event, uh, which was very enjoyable. Uh, and it was surprising how many opportunities I had to just spend time with other president-elects. And um, obviously, I was very interested in focusing on, on those, those clubs around us and made some very good contacts and friends with these guys. But also, People uh, from from other clubs like Brenda Sheldon, uh, she's actually an assistant governor up in Alaska, but she also uh, did one of the what I would call mandatory classes on adapting clubs, and I, I found it was very interesting. So I talked with her afterwards, and she said she would be glad to do a Zoom presentation for us as one of our upcoming programs. But she was a very very engaging speaker too. Now, um, in addition to the three days at pets uh, at the actual event, we had the pre-pets, and um, that actually took place uh, December and January. And it's an online uh, type of a thing, but it's mostly online studying. And uh, these are the required classes that I had to take online. And um, you know they were they were well prepared. Um, interesting. And uh, at the end of each class, 
Uh, this is actually a couple screenshots just from my, my directory and my computer at the end of it. But at the end of each class, you actually have a test. You take the test, and if you pass the test, or when you pass the test, you get a certificate. And so, yeah, you could put them all over your wall, or you could just have them on your computer, which is kind of what I'll <laughs> probably end up doing. <laughs> Um, but the other thing that comes out of it is you, there are a, a lot of guides on kind of, as you can see, how to everything. And I can share those with anybody, uh, uh, but bottom line, they're all on, available on my rotary yeah, at some point, but uh, they're also very helpful too. Then uh, as far as the breakout sessions, uh, there were four uh mandatory ones that we had to go to and they were usually two hours or so in length and again they were focused a lot on adapting clubs uh, uh, uh some of the suggestions if you will to expanding your reach one that i found was was very sensible was we come up with a project <clears throat> Uh, just like many of the projects that we've done, uh, and let's just take the torch down at these elementary schools as an example. Uh, they, they suggest always reaching out to some other organization and inviting them to participate if they want. And it's not like we really need the help, but the intent is, is it gets the word out to you know, other organizations, uh, maybe the Chamber of Commerce, uh, maybe Kiwanis Club, if they're active, uh, churches, uh, schools, uh, whatever. But um, they're just saying, you know, you you really get well, uh, much better known in the community if you keep bugging people about doing things. And of course, they will cooperate or they will participate on many, many of these events. So let's keep that in mind when we come up with a great idea that we think may be too big for us, uh, even if we don't think it is, let's let's reach out. Um, and I did actually have a chance to talk to, to, to Jim Kelly, who's the Arlington district about a few of our thoughts. And before I can even get to Brian's thoughts about BMX and uh, pump tracks and that type of thing. Uh, Jim had mentioned that they are well along the way to develop a pump track in Arlington, and um, you know, so I I don't think that they're 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 far enough beyond that. I don't think there'll be a, a you know a reason for us to join them, but that would have been a really good thing for us in Arlington to try to do together. So. Uh, you know, we just have to keep that in mind. Um, you know, just let's talk more with other organizations and, and let's spread spread the word. So that's basically it. Um, I stop the share. And uh, any questions? Awesome, Don. Great presentation on what went on over the weekend. I know it's intense. It was. It was like uh, drinking from the fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yeah. All right. Hope you're doing well. Any questions? Well. Don? Yeah. Okay. Seeing no questions. <clears throat> Any questions for the... Thanks for putting that together. That was really good. And uh, thanks for being here today. Anybody have any questions on anything, new announcements, what have you? I need to do more. I need to do less. <laughs> Anyhow, okay. So with that being said, Don, thanks. And the meeting adjourned. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it off.
Ukrainians coming in. There's 15 now. This guy, superintendent, putting in that I'm going to raise some money. And so the question then becomes the question then becomes, I don't know why students come here with a 